Hi friends. If you can't open zip files in Windows 10, this video is for you. Users got a zip file from as an email attachment. They download it on their Windows 10 system and tried to extract its contents. When they tried to open it by using WinRAR, then an error message pops up and says that the compressed zipped folder is invalid and they simply can't extract the zip file in Windows 10. If you are facing this problem, to consider one of the following culprits. Harmful virus attack, the malfunctioning of the application that is used to create open zip archives, zip file of its header corruption, occurrence of interruption while downloading a zip file. Method 1. Use WinZip. WinZip is the best compressing tool when it comes to extracting or opening zip files on Windows 10. Rest assured that no similar problems ever happen while using it. What's more, do take into consideration the fact that it has several helpful additions besides the archiver itself. For example, you can easily add the contents of a zip file to match the source. Method 2. Try out a powerful antivirus to scan your computer. Even if you're careful and use an antivirus program, you can still pick up a computer malware or virus through email attachments, sharing gaming, music, browsing, or other web activities. Some computer viruses are programmed to damage files or steal data, hence we would recommend you perform a full scan by using a solid antivirus. The zip format is really a target because it includes a lot of files that are unzipped before you get the chance to view them. If the zip file you need to view does not open, it becomes a serious problem. Method 3. Make sure your network connection is stable. If you usually get internet problems resulting in disconnection and reconnection to the network, take a little time to analyze things. An occurrence of interruption while downloading a zip file is a main cause of not being able to extract or open on Windows 10. If your internet connection is unstable, here are a few troubleshooting tips. 1. Firstly, confirm that you are having speed problems. A good method to test your connection speed is by visiting speedist.net. 2. Reset your modem and router. Unplug your router, then the modem. Wait about 1-2 minutes, plug in the modem, and then the router. 3. Connect your computer directly to the modem, if your internet speeds are drastically different when plugged directly into the modem, then you know the router is the issue. If you still have speed problem, then it's likely the ISP or the modem. 4. Check your DNS performance, and use a different one. There is a free DNS tester called DNS Benchmark from GRC.com. This will check to see what DNS will be faster for you. Google DNS and OpenDNS are both good, free options to use. 5. Lastly, call your ISP to make sure the problem is not on their end. 